FSP has given three options. One is a FSP zero, FSS, FSS zero, FS double zero. Okay, why? <laughs> <coughs> why SAP has given three options? Okay, now in GE group, we have the three legal entities. Let us assume GE Power, GE Aviation, GE Electronics. These three legal entities are available. Now for these three business units, we have created, okay, GE01, GE02, GE03. Okay, these three <coughs> legal entities we, ha we have already created. Now, <coughs> For GE power, okay, just for your understanding, okay, in GE power for this legal entity, I do not have the manufacturing, okay, process means I am not manufacturing the power, right? Okay, now I am producing the power, okay, by using the different different sources, okay. So at this point of time, I do not want to the okay the manufacturing related GL accounts, okay, then. If I want to run my business organization for GE power legal entity, I would need only the okay 500 GL accounts it means the 500 GL accounts may be salaries, rent, expenses. Okay, it's a printing, whatever it may be. Okay, purchases, sales, liabilities, okay, assets, whatever it may be. All together, which we would require to run my business organization for GE power, I would need is a 500 GL accounts it means all PNL account balance it all together which i want to have a 500 gl account is sufficient but now ge aviation here this legal entity it is having the manufacturing manufacturing unit also so to run my this business organization i may require because here 500 gl accounts okay here to man here one more additional process which is there means okay for manufacturing related i would may require the 800 gl accounts 800 gl accounts here okay then for ge electronics which i want to run is a might be 900 gl accounts to be required means here now here you can see here each and every legal entity have the the the, <coughs> the requirement of the gl accounts here 500 is there here 800 is there here 900 it is there okay total how many five 500 plus 800 plus 900 okay total total to run my GE group, which I want to have a 2,200 GL accounts. So total number of GL accounts. Now let us assume simple example. We'll take the simple example. Now in <coughs> 2021 financial year, okay, the GE group want to implement implement only only ge01 and ge02 for example let us assume means initially they want to implement the sap they want to adopt the sap functionality for these two legal entities okay at this point of time now okay total okay if i go through my balance sheet okay balance sheet and pnl account of my ge group then i will come to know total 2200 gl account 2200 but now at this point of time if i am going to implement okay 8 500 and 800 okay total it will become 1300 gl accounts only okay instead of this 1300 gl accounts okay now management thinking that okay now i do not want to okay 1300 gl accounts then let us go for all gl accounts should have my chart of accounts level means what is the meaning of that one okay now okay 2200 gl accounts okay for each and illegal entity now see now this to run this one 500 gl accounts are sufficient instead of 500 if i will create 2200 gl accounts for this legal entity for this legal entity what is the usage unnecessarily i am creating okay unnecessarily i am creating more than i mean 1700 gl account extra here okay now without using of this gl accounts okay without usage why i want to create this gl accounts here in this company code okay 500 gl accounts are sufficient here 800 only sufficient here 900 only sufficient okay now to overcome this situation what sap has suggested okay first initially whenever we want to create a gl account okay after growth after okay we as a consultant we we must have to go through the organization pnl account and balance it before creation of the gl accounts okay then or we need to sit with the 
respective team finance team okay they will they will address us which gl accounts are to be required okay now here what sap has suggested instead of creating at a time 2200 gl accounts for all the legal entities okay unnecessarily why we need to create then what sap has suggested initially create the gl accounts at chart of accounts level okay now the chart of accounts level Chart of accounts level, what is the transaction code? FSP0 is the transaction code. Okay, after creation of the GL account at chart of accounts level, if there is a some GL account requirement is there okay for this company code. You just extend that GL account to the legal entity level. Means that is the reason what SAP has given. There are two segments are given while creation of the GL account. So one is a chart of accounts level segment, another one is a company code segment. Okay, now for both combinations for, for GL account for company code segment and for company code segment, the combination of two segments, okay, the SAP has given only one transaction code FS00. Now I will show you one by one. First, let me display the FS00 any one transaction code. Now, okay, now this is the FS00 display the centrally. Now I will open one more screen, will come from the FSP0 onwards, means a chart of accounts level FS P0. Now you can see. Now, <laughs> whenever we are creating the GL account, okay, I'll make this. Now you can understand here. Now see, whenever whenever we are creating a GL account, what SAP has suggested first, you can create the GL account at okay chart of accounts level. Now you can see chart of accounts level here. Okay, this see now chart of accounts level. Okay, now if the if the GL account is required for some legal entity, then you can extend it. Okay, then while creation of a GL account at chart of accounts level, type description means here you can see what kind of GL account is this. Okay, whether it is a, okay, it's a expenses account, revenue or, okay, a liability or asset account, which one, okay, what is the account group? Then either it's a PNL account or balance sheet, which account is this? Then description, whatever you want, you can keep it. Okay, the chart of accounts level, only it is having the type description option only. This and all, it is not required. Okay, this and all, it's not required. Now you can see, this is the, FSP0 chart of accounts level means if we create a GL account or chart of accounts level, then we can extend easily for company code level. Okay, now we have discussed above, we have seen okay, chart of accounts level. See type description the same one here it is there. Now let me open one more screen for company code. FSS0 is the now you can see now control data create create and bank interest data tab. Now you can see control data creation of bank interest means whatever the GL account we have created at chart of accounts level. This is the above the company code, the hierarchy above the company code. If GL account is available at this at this level, chart of accounts level, then we can extend this GL account easy to company code. Now the GL account which I want to create, OK, GL account, OK, at company code level before creation of GL account at company code level, I must have the GL account at chart of accounts level, then only I I can create that okay GL account at company code level. Now you can see means now this particular GL account belongs to this company code. I am extending now you can see under control data tab. Now there are multiple options are available local currency. These options I will explain you one by one. I will explain you. Okay now see these are the controls which I am going to keep my for my GL account at company code level. Okay then these are the settings what you are seeing. This is company code to company code individual settings only. It's not the same for all the company codes okay it's a business requirement as per the business requirement okay you need to keep all the settings okay you need to define the settings then go to the create bank interest data now the field status group okay here post automatic only okay supplement this and all not required okay planning level this is this is also not comes under finance it is a part of financial supply chain management then relevant cash flow okay when if the GL account is belongs to cash inflow, cash outflow, like bank GL account or cash GL account, for those GL accounts only, we need to select. Okay, I will explain one by one. But now here we need to understand. Okay, now, now you can see this is a chart of accounts level where we have the type description, then company code level segment control data 
create bank interest data. These three options which are available at central level means now you can see type disc description, control data, create bank interest tab. Okay, here the meaning is that, okay, now let's say for example, for the GL accounts which I would require for total GE group level 200, 2200 GL account. What I am going to do when I am when the implementation is going to happen at this point of time, I will create 2200 GL accounts at chart of accounts level first. Okay, the while or during the implementation, during the implementation project, we need to we need to create all the 200 GL accounts at, at chart of accounts level. Chart of accounts level. Okay. Then if the GL account is exist at chart of accounts level only, then only the system will allow us to okay create the GL account at company code. Okay. Now maybe you may thinking about that. Okay. Now okay, why I need to go for chart of accounts level, company code level. Now you can upload all the GL accounts at central level. Okay. Unnecessary you are uploading, right? Only this I want to 500 GL accounts only. I don't want to 2200 GL accounts. Means 1700 GL accounts which I am creating unnecessary in this company code, right? 